I'm Arrow, and I sing and uh, you know perform and all that. I'm Timothy Franco, and I play the bass. I'm Henry. I play the guitar, and I think I'm a teddy bear. I'm Austin, and I play the drums. The reason why I wanted to start playing drums is because when I like watch like Keith Moon play, I was like, it's really sick. Like some guy that's just like super noodly, almost like an octopus, like playing the drums. So, yeah. I loved uh, the MC5. My, my dad gave me an MC5 CD, and I love Jack White and the Raccoon Tours. White Stripes, um, Iggy and the Stooges, just, I love guitar rock, like heavy guitar music. I wanted to make music when I first heard like Ozzy Osbourne, so that's like the main thing, but I mean, I grew up like listening to like the Beatles and Harry Nelson and stuff like that. I also like T-Rex and David Bowie, and then I also like like the Breeders and like Nirvana and like stuff like that. When I was like 16 or so, I, my friends and my brother turned me on to like Motown and Soul. Um, so that's when I really got into music. There's a guy in, in Nagoya that I've never seen someone lose himself in music so much. It felt like it was one of the more punk shows that we played in Nagoya, and I guess that crowd just gets really rowdy, and it was a room of, I think, like maybe 250 people. It's like really jam packed. And at a certain point, I think whenever Henry would like go up to the stage and solo, he would just start like smacking his butt, but like repeatedly. So and then at the end of the show, he like jumped on stage and just started rolling, or like, like almost like a child having like a tantrum, but he was like just transfixed by the music, so he was just like rolling around like this, and then jumped back into the audience. Like, he ran into the wall and his face was bleeding. Yeah, he, <laughs> he like, like that's someone who really, like he was really enjoying himself, almost a little too much. He like, came up to me and he held my leg and he went to like full like back swings into my ass. He did felt, that to me when I crouched, or yeah, was, I just felt someone spang my ass and I was like, what's <laughs> yeah. It was a fun show, but it was just like, that was really bizarre. Yeah, yeah. Norwich. Norwich, Norwich, yeah. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah, that was a fun place. We played a place called the Crypt. Yeah. And it was like this underground like dungeon. dungeon. Yeah. Like the dungeon and the promoters, they brought in the PA. So it was just like this old dungeon room. Yeah. And the crowd yeah. was nuts. It's all, it's a, nuts. Yeah. Nobody goes there to play. It was like this really small room and it was like a kind of a younger crowd. like younger audience, so everyone was just like, yeah, was kind of more like dancey like, energy, like slam dancing punk kind of vibe. There was also that festival, like the November. Yeah, there was like a weird festival happening around the corner. There was like uh, fireworks and stuff, yeah. and everyone after that ended just started coming to the street, so that's why a bunch of people just came into this bar and where we were playing, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And they had fireworks, and yeah. they stood in the streets. Yeah, and it was like yeah they like kept under the fireworks, but they kept saying, the big boom is about <laughs> yeah, to happen. Like, <laughs> <slightly eerie. laughs> like, we were like, oh no. <laughs> It was helping us craft, you know, put things together. Yeah, know? he had like mm -hmm. so many ideas, and he wasn't like, he wasn't like, yeah. um, like you have to do this. He was like, what about this? You know, what about this? What about this? And we'd either be like, yeah, or we'd be like, I don't know. But we pretty much tried everything, you know. Okay. We, mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were allowed to do what we want to do, but he just like if we were asking him about something, he'd be like, well, you should try it this way, and we would try it, and if we liked it, stuck with it. If not, we were kind of like, eh, so so. Yeah, he so was... he he helped us, but in the same way that we were. We were doing things the way we wanted to, however, he just aided us in certain areas. His energy, though, really impacted the record and really encouraged us to be the best that we could be on the tracks. It, it sounded the best, so we stuck with it, Very yeah. warm. And just the whole point that you have to like get it right, mm -hmm. or you just leave your mistakes is really a cool aspect. It just makes you think about what you're playing a bit more as well, so you kind of put more effort into it, or maybe yeah. less effort, so yeah. Yeah, I think you put more effort into it, because it's like the same when you, like you're taking photos, you know, with film versus digital, I feel like you're more like thinking about like every single shot, because you only have so many of them, and you want to make every one like a really good photo, whereas when you have a digital camera, you're like, oh, I don't have unlimited amount of photos, so.
It'd be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, who knows if our band would, you know, do well. Yeah. But it would be definitely really fun. We'd probably all be dead. We're happy to be in this yeah. era doing what we're doing. I feel like if I'm you... not that happy to be in this era. There you go. Anyway, I look at it this way, where it's just like if you're too nostalgic about something, it's kind of whatever. I'm happy to be making music like this now, currently, because it gets people excited and interested into music. But I also listened to it when I was younger. It's cool seeing people, you know, they're really excited about it because they haven't seen, you know, stuff like ours in a while. But then again, it's like, right. also kind of sucks. Because people just call, they'll be like, oh, you know, you're just like nostalgia band. And it's like, no, we're just like not like a shitty, like, DJ or something. Like, sorry, we're like, cool. I don't know. <laughs>